favorite things about having my own channel is I get to talk about whatever I want on my channel. So this week I'm going to talk about something I love and that is animals and dogs. So I know a lot of people love animals and dogs so for uh, I would like to know if you want to let me know in the comment section of this video what your favorite animal is. Do you have a favorite animal? Um, tell me a little bit about that in the comments of this video and maybe I'll pick a comment or two to read off in a future video. That sounds good. And if you're interested in hearing me talk about animals and dogs, stay tuned. I've always loved animals. I remember going to the park and wanting all the animals to be my friends. I wanted the ducks to be my friends. I wanted the squirrels to be my friend. I always wanted to have food with me so that I could like lure animals in closer to me, especially wild animals. I just always want to make animals that are afraid of me, not afraid of me. My great grandmother had this really shy cat and my grandmother had a shy cat as well. And I remember just wanting to get as close to that both of those really shy cats as possible and it was like one of my life goals when I was like a toddler to touch the shy cat and so I spent a lot of time like lying on my belly like with my hands stretched out in front of me coaxing the kitty near me um, with not a lot of success honestly but I've always had that obsession of wanting to um, be friends with every animal I meet Fortunately, unlike the shy cats, um, most dogs like me, which is great. Um, I've always been able to look at animals and understand their body language fairly easily. I can tell how an animal is feeling if it's relaxed or if it's scared or uh, agitated based on looking at it. Um, Rocky's really chill behind me. Um, and yeah, that's just always this skill I've had. And I've always wanted to understand animals. And, you know, if there was like a real life Dr. Doolittle, if that was possible where you could literally like know what animals are thinking and speaking, I guess that would be my dream uh, superpower to have. That would be amazing. But I feel like the abilities that I have naturally uh, to understand animals are actually pretty amazing and probably the closest realistic Thing to a superpower that anyone can get so I'm really grateful for that I've trained a cat to do like tricks and shake and sit and jump over things I've trained a duck at the park not to bite me um, I'm always coaxing like squirrels I want squirrels to get close to me <laughs> when they're around and birds and things I don't know I just it's just something random about me so anyway um, yeah, that's my video this week, guys. I will talk to you next week, and I hope to hear about your favorite animals. Bye, guys.